Hi everybody, Chris Petrie. Thanks so much for coming by. Hey, we have a fun video here. This is just a quick informational on my tripod and foam board uh, that I use for painting outdoors as well as in the studio. So I know some of you had mentioned that you would want more information on how I uh, set up my outdoor um, easel and as well as in the studio, I do have uh, the same setup I use in, in indoors as well too. So let's take a quick look at everything and uh, it's actually quite simple and I just wanted to say right from the beginning here if you're not great or not handy with like screwdrivers and hammers and nails and you don't work around the house and do things like that always remember you can uh, check in with someone in your family that's good with construction that's good with handiwork things like that and they can do this project for you it's not very difficult at all there are a few things you have to purchase but not a big deal so really I'll just go through the different parts uh, of this setup so that you kind of have all the um, kind of basic nuts and bolts of everything how it goes together and what I'm using um, you can I'll also make available if you email me at Chris Petri at att.net again that's Chris Petri c-h-r-i-s p-e-t-r-i at att.net if you send me a quick email I'll send you over some uh, sketches of how everything goes together and all of, I'll write down all of the parts of this setup for you so that you have it all at your fingertips so um, this is a Velbon Victory 450 tripod that I use these are ready, readily available I got this on eBay actually used and uh, or actually this is my original one I've had for like 25 years uh, I used to do photography a lot when I was younger so I have this from going back 25 30 years ago or about 20 years ago 25 years and then I bought another second one that I have in my studio so I have one that I grab and go all the time outdoors when I go out and do plein air painting out in the um, local area or if I go on vacation I'll always have one set for that set up for that and then I also have one set up in my studio that I always have actually uh, set up and I use and I just leave it in my studio um, on the floor uh, ready to go at all times it's just set up and it never moves so this is the tripod that I have and then at the top of the tripod there's a an adapter and basically this adapter is um, has a this would be the female uh, part of the adapter and then the male piece over here is what clips in so this is the foam board that I have that I created and so there's a, an adapter piece that goes bolts onto the back of this plywood that I attached to the foam board so if you can imagine I bought some foam board and I cut it to the size I wanted which is about an 18 by 18 square here and I also have other larger sheets of uh, foam board too that I've made the same exact um, uh, set up on as well but I'm going to show this smaller version here it's a little bit easier to see on camera so basically what I did was I took this foam board half inch thick foam board and I cut it to the size I wanted then I took a piece of plywood cut it in an 8 inch by 8 inch square and glued it to the back of the foam board kind of simple then what I did was I cut a hole in the foam board here all the way through and it's right in the exact center of my foam board in both directions perfectly centered that's where I put my hole in my foam board and I put a bolt through it and I also cut a hole in the plywood so that that bolt can go through the back of the foam board and then into the back of this plywood here and then I bolted this adapter which is a male adapter that goes onto the back uh, or on the top plate of this uh, tripod and it's as simple as that and then all you have to do is once you put this all together which is with some construction adhesive to get that plywood nice and firm and attached to the back of the foam board and you have your adapter piece attached here it's got to dry you have to let your um, plywood dry first on your um, foam board overnight and then you put this together and you put this on you use a screw or a, a nut and a bolt so you have your nut back here you attach on and the screw goes through the foam board here this way goes through the back through the plywood and then you attach this adapter plate and this adapter plate goes right to the top plate of your tripod and then we just put it together like this and there's a little latch on the back and you just you clip it together and I think I should have this this should go together pretty easily here just like that and you clip it with the thumb latch and there you have it and then you have your foam board attached to your tripod and then you can just 
take your tripod and whether you're outdoors, indoors, however you want this set up, you just open up your tripod and you set it down. And then you have your tripod and then you can adjust the pitch of your board any way you want. You have this handle that comes with the tripod and this again is a camera and camcorder tripod. So it has its um, adjustments. You can adjust the pitch of the board all the way, almost 360 degrees. And as well, you can turn this, uh, you can spin this around any which way you want to as well. It turns around 360 this way, and it also turns 360 this way with your, with your board. So that's really the simple um, nuts and bolts of this here. So I'm hoping you enjoyed this. And again, I'm gonna make a um, quick sketch on some printer paper of all the parts and how it all goes together. And um, this way you can have that. If So if you wanna, if you're not great with this type of thing, putting things together like this, again, you would have somebody in your family, a friend, a family, someone that's good with uh, handiwork construction, they can do it for you, not a problem. Maybe you're gonna bake some cookies or make a cake for them, or maybe you can give them 20 or 30 or $40 to put it together for you. Maybe you can take the list that I have available on my, uh, email, which is chrispetri at att.net. Uh, again, chrispetri at att.net. You send me an email, I'll send you the sketches and the parts that you need. And then you can almost take those sketch sheets that I'm going to send you. You can go and buy all the parts. And then this way you could basically have all the parts and the sheets that explain how it all goes together. And that saves the other person that might put it together for you all that hassle. They can just take the parts and the sheets and it describes how to put it all together. They can also watch this video so they can kind of see how this is kind of set up. And it's not really, again, too, too difficult. You know, it's basically, uh, the, you know, the tripod attached to the back of that plywood with the adapter plate there. And that's really all you have to worry about. And then you can just make the board, the foam board as large or as small as you want. You can make multiple boards. The only thing I would say is if you have a larger board or, or two, you would just have to buy a few more of these male adapter pieces that go that made up to the top of the tripod. You wouldn't want to keep taking these on and off all the time to switch around your boards. You're much better off just spending a couple extra dollars, get extra adapter plates, and then just have them attached to your foam board uh, all the time so you don't even have to take them off. They can just stay on there for as, you know, until the cows come home. So there we go. We have everything all set up here. I'm glad you stopped by. I'm happy to do this video. I'm going to show some more videos too on my setup uh, with my studio, maybe my YouTube setup. This way, some of you that want to start making some videos. I know a number of you have already started making your videos. I, I see some of you on YouTube uh, already that, that have been following me. I, I see your, your videos out there that you've been creating on YouTube. They look wonderful. And uh, so if more of you want to start creating your own videos on YouTube, um, it's a fantastic thing to do. It's a lot of fun and I'll show you my setup. I can actually run through that as well in a future video. If you think you'd want to see more of that, let me know. I'll do another video on my setup over here in my studio with my uh, YouTube uh, rig, which has um, a camera that's overhead that shoot, you know, kind of shoots the videos from the top down. And I have a rig that I bought for that. And um, also I have my table I've created. I built a table for my YouTube uh, video uh, setup, so I can kind of show you how I built that table. It's a really sturdy, strong table that will not move around too much. You don't want to have things moving around when you're doing videos. That looks terrible on, on video if you have things shaking and vibrating and moving around. So you always want to, whenever you're creating videos, you want to have the camera super stable as you're working. Uh, that'll be really a good thing. So in any way, in any case, we'll see you soon. Thanks for coming by. Enjoy the watercolor journey. Have fun. Uh, we'll be creating a video anytime now, and uh, we'll see you on YouTube in just a second or two.